One of the fundamental principles that I learned as a designer is that you always start with a problem. If you're not solving a problem, what's the point? We're a digital health company, and the Access Strength is our first hardware product. That's an inclusive functional trainer that pairs with our software, the Include Cloud. Altogether, it's a digital health platform. I was working out and saw a man in a wheelchair, and uh, I'd just never seen a guy in a chair before at the gym. So I sat back and I kind of watched and quickly noticed he had a bag full of these homemade accessories to help him transfer in and out of his chair and adapt to the equipment. It's hard enough for anyone to stay healthy, let alone if, you aren't, if you're dealing with equipment that doesn't even consider your needs. That ability to work out is really important to your self-esteem, but also to development. People with disabilities want to have active lives. They are not reclusive. That kind of got me going. How do we get something in here that can uh, you know, apply to a variety of people? It's a need that needs to be met, and there's a solution there, and that's the reason. That's why you you know, put up with all of the different obstacles put in front of you. Whether it's, it's just getting people on board to support you, whether it's raising money, whether it's finding customers, to building a supply chain, to solving design and engineering issues, just you name it, right? Everything is a challenge when you're doing it from scratch. This product is very large. There's over a thousand pieces that go into this. Nothing about the process is linear. It is very sporadic, it's very volatile, it is very intense. We got to a point where it's kind of cliche, but we literally circled a date and we said, look, if we can't get this here, we got to pull the plug. Two weeks before that date, we got an email that we got the funding. He realized that the sky's not falling and you become empowered in realizing that you can keep this thing going. There's no way you can do it solo, so you're trying to find the right partners. I thought the idea was fantastic. We were in on the design phase. We put some money forward to help them get going. You know, I just recently listened to the NPR on James Dyson. Oh, was it 5,127 prototypes? That's obsession. So, I mean, it's insanely inspiring. Just having that dedication to knowing what you can build, and despite people telling you to stop or to give up or whatever, it's like, no, you see this. I entered the competition in 2009, and it helps open doors. Um, again, it's a, it's a third-party validation. It shows an inclusivity. It shows a leveling of the playing field. It shows that someone thought it through. The machine helps him out a whole lot. It keeps him going, and that's what we like to do. We like to see him moving. This gives you just such a deep purpose. You meet these people that you can impact, and you see their response, you see the response of their caregivers, their family, that it just gets you completely ramped up to saying, what I'm doing is for a greater purpose. This is not about me. This is not about just building a business, right? This is about fundamentally helping people. So that becomes really your true north, your sole driver through this entire process. And when you see what you can do now and then realize what you can do as you continue to push this, there's no greater motivation.